आउज़बिल्लिमशैतरजीम बसमीम लेसन नंबर थर्टीन हेर यू विल लर्न अबाउट जमा जमा ऑफ इसम जमा ऑफ असमा एंड जमा ऑफ मन ओत यू विल लर्न दीज थिंग्स हेर सो इन इंग्लिश यू सी दैट वेदर द नाउन इज सिंगुलर or whether the noun is plural in both cases the adjective is singular here with men we are using good and with man we are using good again but in arabic the things are different for jama ism the naat is also jama and for mufrad ism the naat is also mufrad In English, there are two kinds of plural: sound and broken. In sound plural, the original form of the word is retained, like book. You see, in plural also we see the word book. Pen. In plural form, we also see the original word pen. And in broken plural, the original form of the word is lost in the plural form so you see men become men women become women original form of the word is lost in the plural same thing in arabic in arabic we also have two types of plural one is known as salim and other is known as mukassar so salim mean sound and mukassar mean broken so salim has two types First is masculine, jama, muzakkar, salim, and the second one is jama, monas, salim. In jama, muzakkar, salim, we add wow noon at the end of a masculine noun to make it plural. Muslim, muslimuna, mudarris, mudarrisuna. But in jama, monas, salim. we add alif and ta to make a feminine noun jama noun so you just need to read it and just remember one thing that this waw is waw madda and this alif is alif madda nothing else here so you just need to read this page pause the video read it carefully and feel free to ask me if you don't understand anything you can ask me on my whatsapp and you can ask me in the comments second thing just like in english we have two uh, categories of plural so second category here is also broken plural which is known as jamma mukassar in jamma mukassar the original form of the word is lost so in arabic they have made some patterns but these patterns will not help you in long run so you just need to memorize them directly like najm me plural is najum kitab kutub jabal jibal tajir tuja so you need to memorize the broken plural jama mukassar there is no rule for them so here you will memorize them now in the previous chapters you have learned about haza which mean this for masculine and hazi he also mean this for feminine and hazi he is also used for non intelligent irrational plurals now you will see haulai is the plural of haza and hazihi so haza tajirun haulai tujarun hazihi mudarrisa haulai mudarrisatun so you see the plural of haza is haulai and the plural of hazihi is also haulai 
and remember one thing that how lie is usually used for human beings for non human being it is rarely used so you just say that how lie is used for human beings then you have also studied the pronoun huwa which means he so now you will learn that the plural of huwa the jamma of zamir huwa is hum and <clears throat> similarly unlike the singular huwa the plural hum is used to refer on the huwa so if you remember we use the word huwa for masculine non living things for masculine animals as well singular but this plural form hum is used only for human beings we cannot use that for animal thing because for non intelligent animals we use singular feminine similarly who mean his and its plural is also hum only difference is this that this hum is at the beginning of the word and it is separate this hum is at the end of the word and it is attached like it, we never use it separately you need to read this one as well after that we have the verb zahaba he went you also studied that in the previous chapter so now you will learn zahabu they went masculine plural and note one thing that this alif that you see at the end is not pronounced this alif is not pronounced so we will later learn the feminine of this verb then you will learn the meaning of badu badu means some there are some more things regarding bad we will study them later inshallah at the moment just remember that the meaning of the word bad is some now here you have some vocabulary that you need to read and memorize so you better pause the video and memorize the whole vocabulary <coughs> now in this part we will learn okay in the first part we studied the masculine plurals now in the second part we will focus on the feminine plural so he i mean she and its plural is hunna so you need to memorize this similarly ha mean her and its plural form is hunna only the difference in this that this hunna is at the beginning and it is separate and this hunna is at the end of the word and it is attached to the noun not separate then you already know that the plural of hazihi is haulai now in the first part you studied that zahaba mean he went zahabu they went and that is for masculine only then you also know that zahabat mean she went so here you will learn that zahabna they went and this is for feminine zahabu they went for masculine and zahabna they went for feminine you also need to read this in the first part you saw that jama mona salim is made by adding alif and ta so you see muslimatun become muslimatun it is jama mona salim because original form of the word is retained and this alif is alif madda so here you have some more examples from that then we have got some vocabulary 
then you need to memorize after that you will learn the plural form of zalika and tilka zalika mean that it is for masculine tilka also mean that it is for feminine and the plural of both of them is ulaika and not one thing that this vow is not pronounced in this this vow is not pronounced here so you need to remember this adarsh sali sashara 13th lesson man ha ula il fityatu tiwalu ya ali who are these tall young men o oh, ali fityatu mean young men atiwal tall who are these tall young men o oh, ali whom they are to labun students judud new hum to labun judud they are new students min aina hum min from aina where hum they min aina hum where are they from hum they min from america they are from america a r hum de zumala uk your colleagues a hum zumala uk are they your colleagues naam yes hum de zumala e my colleagues yes they are my colleagues hum de fi in Firstly, my class. Yes, they are my colleagues. They are in my class. Ah, uh, are whom they? Mustahidun, hardworking. Ah, uh, whom mustahidun? Are they hardworking? Naam, yes. Whom they are? Mustahidun, hardworking. Yes, they are hard working. Yes, they are diligent. Ma, what? Asma, uhum, their names. Ma, asma, uhum, what are their names? <coughs> asma, uhum, their names are Yasir, wa Zakaria, wa Musa, wa Abdullah. Their names are Yasir and Zakaria and Musa and Abdullah. Wa and man who haulai these al rijalu the men al kisaru short. Wa man haulai rijalu al kisar and who are these short men? Whom they are, Hujjajun, pilgrims. We also call them Haji. Whom Hujjaj, they are pilgrims. Hujjaj means the one who, those who go to Makkah for Hajj. Min from Aina where, whom they. Min Aina whom, where are they from? Badu whom, some of them. Mina seen from the China, Wabaduhum and some of them, Minal Yaban from Japan. Some of them are from China, and some of them are from Japan. Aina where, Musa, Wa and Astika u his friends. Where is Musa and his friends? Zahabu they went. Ila to al matam the restaurant. Zahabu ila al matam they went to the restaurant. The marine exercises. How will convert al mubtada the subject? Fi in kulli each min of al jumalilatiya 
the following sentences ila jama to plural convert the subject in each of the following sentences into plural haza this talib student haza talib this is a student haulai these are tulab students haulai tulab these are students <coughs> haza this tajir merchant haza tajir this is a merchant haulai tujjar these Haza Hajun. This is a pilgrim. Ha Ulai Hujajun. These are pilgrims. Pilgrim mean Haj mean the one who goes to Makkah for Hajj. Haza Rajulun. This is a man. Ha Ulai Rijalun. These are men. Haza Kabirun. This is big. Ha Ulai Kibarun. These are big. Haza Sagirun, this is small. Haulai Sigarun, these are small. Haza Kasirun, this is short. Haulai Kisarun, these are short. So, in this way, you will fill all these blanks. How will Il Mufradat al Maktubata belown il Azraki la Jumu in Kamahua Mubadahun fil Misal? Convert the singular nouns or sorry, convert the singular nouns written with blue color into plural, like it is explained in the example. Misal example Man Hazar Rajul, who is this man? Who wa Hajj? He is a pilgrim. Man Haula Irrijal. Who are these men? Hum hujaj. These are pilgrims. Min aina has a talib. From where is this student? Who wa minal hind? He is from India. So now we need to make it plural. So you will say min aina ha ulai. Min aina ha ulai it. Tulabu Minaina Haula it tulab. Then we will say Hum Minal Hind. Hum Minal Hind. Ainat Tajirul Kabir. Where is the big merchant? Huwa Fisuk. He is in the market. So now you will say Ainat Tujarul Kibar. Ainat Tujarul Kibar. Hum Fisoki. Where are the big merchants? They are in the market. Ay Nal Mudar Rasul Jadid. Where is the new teacher? Huwa in Dal Mudir. He is with the headmaster. Ay Nal Mudar Rasul Nal Judud. Hum in Dal Mudir. Where are the new teachers? They are with the headmaster. Ay nat tulabul, ay nat talibul jadid. Where is the new student? Ahua fil fasal. Is he in the class? Ay nat tulabul judud. Where are the new students? Ahum fil fasal. Are they in the class? Ahazat Talibu Ghani. Is this student rich? La huwa fakir. No, he is poor. Aha ula it tulabu agniya. La hum fukara. Are these students rich? No, they are poor. You will do this exercise as well. Then Azifil Asma al Atiya Maratan Ismin Zahir Wa Ukhra ila Damir Kama Hua Filmis Muwadda Hun Filmisal Meg Muzaf Adif Meg Muzaf the following nouns one time to the apparent noun this is apparent noun 
wa ukhla ila zameer and the other time to the pronoun this is the pronoun like it is cleared in the example the word is abna abna means sons abna u muhammad sons of muhammad abna u his son so similarly you will say asma utullab when it will become muzaf you then you cannot use tanween so you will see asma uttulab and here you will see asma uhum same thing with the others too ikrail misala summa hawil jumalati misla read the example then convert the following sentences like it at-talibu zahaba ila al-matam the student went to the restaurant at-talabu zahabu ila al-matam the students went to the restaurant so you see talib singular tula plural zahaba singular zahabu plural at-talibu jalasa fil fasl the students sat in the class at-talabu jalasu fil fasl the students sat in the class ikra waqtu read and write at-talabu fil fasl the students are in the class man ha ula il aulad who are these boys a hum abna uk are they your sons la hum abna u akhi no they are the sons of my brother man ha ula in nas who are these people hum hujaj min turkiya they are pilgrims from turkey ainat tujar where are the merchants zahabu ila suq they went to the market man ha ula ir rijal who are these men hum duyuf they are guests Al-Fallahuna fil-hukuli wa abna'uhum fil-madrasa The farmers are in the field and their sons are in the school. Aynat tullabu al-judud Where are the new students? Ba'aduhum fil-fasli wa ba'aduhum inna al-muti some of them are in the class and some of them with the headmaster ah mami tujjar unki bar my uncles all my paternal uncles are big merchants ha ula i ikhwati these are my brothers aina abna uka ya ali where are your sons o ali hum fit dukan they are in the shop الطلاب الكبار في الملب والطلاب الصغار في الفصل the old students elder students are in the ground and the younger students are in the class هؤلاء الفتية إخوة these young men are brothers أبوهم إمام هذا المسجد their father is the imam of this mosque هؤلاء الرجال فلاحون من كنيتي These men are farmers from my village أين الطلاب الجدد Where are the new students آخرجوا Did they go out نعم خرجوا وزحبوا إلى المكتبة Yes they went out and they went to the library آها أولا الأطباء مسلمون Are these doctors Muslims? نعم هم مسلمون Yes they are Muslims لي أبناء سيغار I have small sons بعدهم في المدرسة الابتدائية وبعدهم في المدرسة المتوسطة Some of them are in the elementary school and some of them are in the middle school اكتب جمع الكلمات اللاتية write the plurals of the following words كبير كبار 
Muslim Muslimun Rajulun Rijal Ibn Abana Daif Duyuf Fatan Fitya So in this way you will write their plurals here Al Kalimatul Janida New words So here you will write their meanings So here we completed the masculine plural. So now let me tell their homework as well. So for your homework you will go to Google Classroom. And this book is Drus Logatil Arbiya, so you will go to Drus Logatil Arbiya classwork. And here you see homework number 7. So you will click on homework number 7, lesson 13, page 65. <coughs> so here you will submit your homework in homework number seven whatever is written here you can ignore it just remember one thing all exercises of the book are your homework so whatever is written here you can ignore it as well no problem just do your homework and submit it using these options and feel free to ask me your questions and any problem you can also ask me in comments inshallah next time